So I'm using my Uber Chic mat, <coughs> excuse me, today to do the um, stamping. And these are the nail polishes I'll be using. And then last, one of my favourites, is this one here, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. And it's called Bee Girl. Okay, so we've got um, CJS05. And this is the one with the roses and the cherry blossom so I'll get st stuck in I'm going to be stamping it on these here and I'll be using Born Pretty stamping polishes so let's go I think I'll start with um, might actually try doing that one there which has actually got four rose images on it so what well, four layers Bottom one, I think I'll start with white. I think the idea of it is, is you start with the lightest colour at the bottom, ending with the darkest colour at the top. What's that one there? And then do do my light purple or lilac color shimmer polish and the trickiest part here is actually working out which way it goes I think I'm not actually sure which way that goes so it's actually that way up. It's probably not going to stamp now. Taking too long doing it. I oh know it did. I don't think that's quite right anyway, but we'll carry on. Oops. Then I'll do um, black because I haven't actually got anything darker than the purple. not sure about that I think I've lost the mark a bit there um I might just do it again underneath because it looks like there's enough room there so let me just clean my plate and I'll just redo it okay I'm gonna just try that again and now I just don't think I've actually lined it up very well so something doesn't quite look right there but I'll try it again. Actually, maybe I might do the smaller one. So I can do it with the white and the lilac and the purple. Yep, it's there. So that's the first image. The second one has to be the medium coloured one. So there you go, there's your layered row, so it gives it quite a nice vintage look. I think I've gone a bit skewed with that one. 
but that one's turned out really good. I'm quite pleased with that. So it looks like it's shaded. You know how like roses have the depth of colour. Um, and I think you could use quite, you know, some really cool colour combinations with pink and red and things like that. So, so I've just done it in lilac and purple. And then on this second one here, I think I might try the um, cherry blossom. So I'll just grab my brown stamp and polish. So I'm just going to get the branch part of it. Very fine. I've missed some parts of it. I tried too fast on me. That's okay. Anyway, I'll carry on with the stamping. So, just clean that up a little bit. Now, I'm actually going to do, um, I think I'll do these two first. So, that's like the cherry blossom part of it. And I think I'll use the Conad pink and Born Pretty White for that. That's stamped well. We'll just pop in there. And I'll do the outlining bit in white. well as well. There we go. Oops, didn't clean my stamper off very well but and then there's actually some little um, tiny cherry blossom down there so I might try stamping that one next. Just clean, clean that off a little bit. It's really fine so it'll be interesting to see I can actually pick that up, but it's really, really fine. Um, I think I might actually do it reverse. So I might do white as the base. And I'll do the pink on the outside of it. So, barely, it's really tricky to pick it up. Um, just go around a little bit. But you sort of can get the idea. It's actually quite nice having the white and then the pink on top of it. Or you can do it the reverse way around. So, and then there's the rose image as well. So, yeah, 